Back in January, we gave you our top 5 productivity apps for Android. But since then, some things have changed, and we found some that we really like. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and here are three more productivity apps for Android. We've covered productivity apps for Android before, even earlier this year. But new applications appear every week, and sometimes it takes us a while to discover new, amazing apps. Think of this as an update to the last video with more of our favorite productivity apps for Android. First up is Todoist. I had been searching for a great task manager for quite some time. Anydo was obtrusive and always popping up in your face. Then I found Todoist. At the surface, it's your typical task manager. Add tasks, set priorities and due dates, use labels and tags, etc. But once you dig into the service, there's much more to it. Tiny things, really, that set it apart. You can add notes to your tasks, due date entry is powered by a language recognition model, you can sync your tasks with Google Calendar, and more. Best of all, it's available via web, and there are apps for Mac, Windows, Android, and iOS, as well as extensions for Chrome, Firefox, Outlook, Thunderbird, Gmail, and more. The Todoist app is free to use, but to access extra features like task notes and file attachments, productivity tracking, custom filters, and more, you'll need to upgrade to Todoist Premium for $29 per year. I did test the stock Android calendar. It's old, clunky, and ugly. None of the alternatives managed to entice me. Agenda calendar, awesome calendar, digical, etc. Then Sunrise calendar released on Android a few weeks ago. It's beautiful, fluid, and has some pretty useful features, like integration with Evernote reminders, GitHub, TripIt, Songkick, and Asana. It has integrated weather in the agenda view, and it's simply one of the most beautiful calendar apps on Android we've ever used. Best of all, it's completely free and available on iOS and web as well. Jotterpad X is a recent find of mine from a new Twitter friend, Dr. Rita Curie. It's a minimal text editor with Dropbox integration and tons of other tiny useful features. You can set different styles, or typeface really, for your choice and appearance. There's an integrated dictionary and it gives you word, paragraph, and character counts. The idea here is to keep things as simple as possible for distraction-free writing. And we have to say Jotterpad X is an excellent execution. Best of all, it's free of charge for basic functionality. Though if you want extended features like markdown support and integrated thesaurus, save versions, night mode, and PDF export, you'll have to snag the in-app creative unlock for $4.98. Of late, these are the apps that keep us productive on the road. Which Android productivity apps do you rely on? Share them in the comments below. Folks, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button below, and of course, subscribe to see more videos like this one in the future. Be sure to follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.